In its more than 100 year history, Disney has created numerous sensational princess movies. You think I'm crazy? But do you know each of these characters and where they come from? You don't understand a word I'm saying, do you? Moana stars in one of the best Disney films from the last decade, and her new movie is set to be even more incredible. She is the princess of Montanui, an island in the Polynesian region where she fought alongside the demigod Maui to save her island and the entire ocean. Montanui may be fictional, but its culture is strongly based on the people of French Polynesia, an archipelago of small islands much like the place where Moana was born. Therefore, it's fair to conclude that Moana and her people are from French Polynesia. Interesting, right? Get ready. Today we're going to talk about 17 Disney princesses and their countries of origin. So ride this wave, because another Cinewave wave is starting. The first thing we think of when we see Elsa from Frozen is her magical ability to create and control ice. And you'll see this makes more sense than it seems. That's because she lives in the Kingdom of Arendelle, which has many features indicating it's a Scandinavian realm. In reality, her kingdom is clearly inspired by Norway. The name Arendelle itself is a play on a Norwegian town called Arendal. The kingdom's design was also inspired by Bergen, another Norwegian city. This fits Elsa well, as Norway is a very cold country, just like most of Scandinavia, and of course, like Elsa herself. Wish was created to celebrate Disney's impressive 100th anniversary, which is why the story is set in the Kingdom of Rosas, a place that closely resembles the kingdoms from classic Disney films, but also brings in many modern elements. The Kingdom of Rosas is fictional, but just like Arendelle and Montanui, it's also based on real places. We know it's located in the far southwestern part of Europe. It's no surprise that the story's main character, Asha, is described as Disney's first Afro-Latina character, a person who is both black and Latina. Since the Kingdom of Rosas is in Europe, it likely represents a country where a Latin-based language is spoken, like Portugal or Spain, which, not coincidentally, are both southwestern European nations. Given the Kingdom of Rosas' visual style, it's safe to say Asha lives in a fictional version of medieval Spain. Mirabelle, the only one in the magical family without any special gift, lives with her relatives in a magical house in a fictional town called Encanto, nestled in Colombia's mountains. This country is in South America and shares borders with countries like Brazil and Venezuela. It's likely they chose to set Mirabelle's story in this country to enhance Latin American representation in Disney movies, which was definitely a success as the film was a big hit and many children loved Mirabelle and her family. Merida from Brave has to be one of Disney's most unique characters, being one of the first to have no romantic storyline in her film. And let's not forget her courage and rebellious spirit, which wasn't very common among Disney princesses at the time Brave was released back in 2012. Like the princess and the frog, Brave doesn't try to hide its character's nationality. The film clearly takes place in the Scottish Highlands, a country that's part of the United Kingdom. Snow White is one of Disney's most well-known princesses, as her movie is a timeless classic. You probably know her story, even if you've never seen the movie. She was a beautiful girl who could talk to animals and had seven dwarf friends until she ate a cursed apple from a jealous witch. Fortunately, she was saved by the kiss of a prince. Like many other Disney princess films, Snow White's story comes from a fairy tale. The story originated in Germany, and the film's visual style aims to reflect the country during the 1500s. There's no doubt about it, she's German. By the way, are you excited for the live-action Snow White movie? If so, comment down below with hashtag snow. The movie Tangled presents a unique take on the fairy tale of Rapunzel, the princess with incredibly long hair who lives locked up in a tower. Like Snow White's story, Rapunzel's tale also originated in Germany. However, unlike Snow White, Disney's version of Rapunzel isn't German. Her story takes place in the fictional kingdom of Corona, but this place has far more visual similarities to France than to Germany. The capital of Corona strongly resembles Mont Saint-Michel, a famous French landmark. So we can say that the Kingdom of Corona is a fantasy version of France, where Rapunzel would likely live if she were a real person. Cinderella is the protagonist of another Disney classic, and you probably know her story even if you haven't seen the movie. She lived with her wicked stepmother and stepsisters, essentially serving as their household maid. That all changed when she met her fairy godmother, making the start of her journey to become a true princess. Most Disney princesses live in some part of Europe, especially the older film's characters. This is the case with Cinderella, who, like Rapunzel, also lives in France. Coincidence? I think not! Of course, since she's Elsa's sister, Anna should also be considered Norwegian. When Elsa blanketed the entire kingdom in snow, Anna had to brave the extreme cold to find her. This is a challenge that real Norwegians face during the colder months of the year. It's no coincidence that Anna was helped by Kristoff, who knows how to travel by sled with his reindeer Sven. After all, sledding is quite common in Norway, more so than in most other countries. 
The story of Frozen is inspired by a Danish fairy tale, another Scandinavian country. This is likely why Disney based the Kingdom of Arendelle on countries in that region. Tiana, the main character in Disney's last traditionally animated film, had dreams of opening a restaurant in New Orleans until she was cursed and turned into a frog. This movie doesn't try to hide where Tiana is from. New Orleans is a famous city located in the state of Louisiana, which makes Tiana distinctly American. Everyone knows Ariel as the mermaid princess of Atlantis, the underwater kingdom. As the daughter of King Triton, who rules the realm, she is also Atlantis's princess. But have you ever wondered where Atlantis is supposed to be? This was a mystery for some time. Since the original fairy tale was written by Danish author Hans Christian Andersen, many assumed Ariel's story took place in Denmark. However, Disney confirmed that Atlantis lies somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea, situated between Europe, Africa, and Asia. This puts her kingdom amid several different countries. Disney also confirmed that Prince Eric's castle is located somewhere in Italy. Since Ariel becomes human and stays with him at the end of the movie, we could say Ariel eventually becomes Italian. Another similar case is Pocahontas, a Native American who clearly lives in the United States. The movie is set during the time when the country was being colonized by the English in 1607. The story truly begins when she meets an Englishman and the two fall in love. Unlike other Disney princesses, Pocahontas is based on a historical figure who truly existed, Amanute, a Native American woman who has become a symbol of resilience over the years. It's amazing to think that a Disney character actually existed in real life. If you want to keep discovering surprising facts about your favorite animated films and characters, just hit the subscribe button. You won't regret it. Belle, intelligent and book-loving, lives in a small village with a style that strongly resembles 1700s France. The original fairy tale that Beauty and the Beast is based on is French, so Disney decided to set the movie in the same country where the story was first written. The film's design was inspired by the French region of Alsace, with towns like Colmach and Eggesheim directly inspiring this incredible production. Speaking of brave characters, Mulan doesn't fall behind. She pretended to be a man just to fight in a war in her father's place. The film takes place in China, which is crucial to the story since Mulan and her tale are based on a very old Chinese legend. Some believe that Mulan might have even existed in real life centuries ago, though this can't be confirmed. Another film heavily inspired by the myths of a certain culture is Hercules. The movie draws deeply from Greek mythology, featuring gods like Zeus, Hades, Hephaestus, and of course, the demigod Hercules himself. Megara becomes a prisoner of Hades after selling her soul to save her ex-boyfriend's life until she meets Hercules. She is also a character taken from Greek mythology, where she is Hercules' wife, just like the romantic pair they become in the film. Perfect. In Sleeping Beauty, Princess Aurora is cursed by Maleficent to sleep forever. The story happens in an unspecified place. However, some experts think that King Stefan's kingdom, Aurora's father, is located in northern Italy, while King Hubert's kingdom, Prince Philip's father, is likely in southern Germany. So it's fair to say that Aurora is Italian and Prince Philip is German. Since they got married, Aurora might even have dual citizenship now. Jasmine is the only official Disney princess who isn't the main character of her movie, Aladdin. But she definitely deserves the title with her charm and bravery. Aladdin clearly draws inspiration from Arabian countries. The deserts, cities, and clothing of the characters reflect the region's cultural traits. Even the genie of the lamp legend is linked to Arabic mythology. The biggest influence for Agrabah, the fictional kingdom, is undoubtedly Saudi Arabia, the largest country in Arabia by both size and population. That's a wrap for this video. If you want to keep the fun going, just click on one of the two videos on your screen. Thanks, and see you next time!